Hey, join my Discord and Patreon. Okay, video time. Pokemon was founded with the idea that once you get a quirky creature, it's yours forever. You can grow and nurture it, trade it, or put it into a bank. Forget to pay for the bank. Big government repossesses your dog. And that's how I became a communist. Gamers need to be punished. However, there's a lot of wacky creatures you just can't obtain anymore due to big government. I, I, I need to find new jokes. So my question was, what is the objective rarest and most valuable Pokemon you could still conceivably obtain? Uh, first let's set up some rules for this challenge. If you consider it a challenge to sit on Bulbapedia and Cerebi for hours on end. In which case, I'm fucking unhinged force of nature guy. First off, let's say this has to be... official. No ROM hacks, cheat devices, reproduction carts, or glitches to modify the game. Secondly, and while this kind of folds into the first point, event distribution cartridges are not allowed. You know those force fields that envelop GameStop with the power of Git Arceus? That's what those were. Thirdly, there needs to be something objectively, functionally unique to them, at least at the time of making this video. But we're not going to be splitting hairs super hard and finding the mystical penis Binda, where his dots uh, magically align to make a penis. I, I think we can agree he'd just win. Also, you'd need to be able to obtain them on a fresh save without external trading right now. Yeah, Spiky or Pichu might be the best thing since the great gaming ban of 2084, but not only will I not live to see it, but also I, I can't get the Pichu to activate it anymore. Come on! Lastly, I'm trying to make this as fact-based as possible, so if I get anything wrong... Okay, here we go. So first off, we, we can just strike out the last three gents, we just can. The ability to download the games from a still active service simply brings down the rarity a ton. Furthermore, shiny rates were doubled since then, making it a little less special. It is the night before this video goes live and I forgot about the T Pokemon and their special authentication shiny form. Pretend that's on this list. Number five, T Pokemon. Whoa, so cool. Also, wild Pokemon. Yeah, nothing against you, but fuck off. The fact is, 1% encounter rates aren't rare enough. We gotta go turbo rare. That was me j j jetting up my turbo rare sensors. This also includes legendary beings like myself and that shiny ho you spent three days resetting for. Why did you do that? He's so fucking gross. Ew, get out of here. So wait, not only do we have to go back to caveman times where they put in effort, but we can't even play the game to get Pokemon? Dude, what, what, what's the current date again? No, that's pretty nor- I knew it. Video games don't fucking exist yet. Hold on, kid. I gotta wait for you to get Pokemon without playing Pokemon. It's still Pokemon. There were quite a few titles released with the ability to interact with mainline Pokemon games. Admittedly, most Pokemon you could obtain through them... Yeah, they weren't anything special. However, near the beginning of Gen 4 and throughout Gen 3, they were fucking crazy. Zigzagoon getting extreme speed without breeding? What's next, Dolores? Marrying our dog? Uh, actually, Gen 4 already is that. Yeah, G G Gen 4. Pokemon Box Ruby Sapphire. What? What? What a good name. Has a few Pokemon obtainable by just shoveling shit into the mainframe, and by giving it 500 Pokemon. You get a skitty with Payday, a move it still can't learn otherwise. Although it became a TM in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Skitty and Delcaddy still can't learn it without Pokemon Box due to being canonically dead in that arc of the Pokemon. Why did they do that still? <laughs> 
Hey, I criticize Sword and Shield. Please like and subscribe. So that's one candidate. Yeah, let's put that down. Cash Bunny Skitty Delcaddy. Woo! If you thought we were done with Pokemon embezzling, sorry, fucker. We have another one of those with my Pokemon Ranch. It's functionally the same thing, except it inspired them to make the Pokemon Rumble series, so it's worse. After depositing 250 Pokemon, you get a chance to obtain a Fion. But can't you just get a Manaphy from a Pokemon Ranger Cross promo and get like a million of them? What's so special about this one? I'm glad you asked, fucker. Well, uh, this one is in a cherish ball it's pretty cool there's also nothing else unique i can discern about this fion other than being in a cherish ball and also being in a game that you can't buy anymore on a region lock console by the way i've been here for a solid 50 minutes i can't figure out what pokemon this is please youtube comments help me out Next, we moved on to the game I just mentioned, po po Pokemon Ranger. It sucks. I hated it as a kid, 100% as a kid, because if I didn't get maximum value out of it, well, I'd feel bad for wasting my mom's money. Uh, she's not an infinite money machine. That's her credit cards. Anyways, you beat the game, then entered like a cool little cheat code. You now have access to a special mission to protect a Manaphy egg. So you do that and listen to me. L listen to me. I can seriously transfer this to Gen 4. Are you out of your fucking mind? So you can do this just whenever, right? Because you can just reset the save. You clearly don't know anything about the real world, buddy. It's not once per save. It's once per cartridge ever. Sure, there's easily accessible ways, especially on 3DS, to reset the cartridge over and over and over and send Manaphy over and over and over. But the constitution we established earlier reads, we the people do not want that shit. And let's just assume this cartridge has never been save edited. Impossible to know, but let's just pretend that that's possible to track. There's only a limited amount of time until the heat death of the universe. I mean, Pokemon Ranger cartridges with Manaphy until they run out, which let's be honest, that equally apocalyptic. That should be it, right? I mean, something as impermanent as, okay, you're not fooled. What's the rarest actually? Well, I think I found it. The rarest Pokemon you can still obtain. And after mapping it out, to obtain legitimately and transfer to Gen 8, even counting out the Gen 8 games and the Switch, would be almost 1,000 buckaroos, 1,000 smackers, 1,000 Arizona drinks before inflation. You could also probably just Pokegen it, but I need the click debate, dude, so d don't do that. So what do you need to do? Well, you simply complete all 72, the number I got right. Challenges in the Japanese version of the game, Pokemon Coliseum, the game I remembered to specify, and snag a Caesar from the last trainer you unlock after doing that. Pretty easy, right? Also, I just wanted to share that I got out of bounds uh, playing this game and didn't save for a while. This was so fucked up. The twist is you need e-reader cards. How could you not know there's a twist after all we've been through? 20 e-reader cards were made to be scanned on a connected GBA to unlock those battles. And let's think about this real quick. A poor selling console needs cards from a poor selling accessory to unlock Pokemon in a not main Pokemon game. Plus, plus, you're assuming this fragile product for children is still usable over 15 years later. We're assuming you don't just print out the cards, by the way. Uh, sorry gamer, I regret to inform you I am Nintendo and I will kill you for doing that. Hope you enjoyed your ho -o, fucker. So what's rare about this Caesar? What's the deal, I suppose you could ask? Well, it has an exclusive, one-of-a-kind, otherwise unobtainable ribbon 
for a Caesar. Hey, I'm a girl. Do you want to have sex? It's all coming together, baby. Ribbons are something viewable on a Pokemon status and are maintained from generation to generation. This is the only way you can do a ribbon run with a Caesar, where you get every obtainable ribbon in the series with one guy. Oh, dude, I, I always wanted this 900 big ones well spent. Also, it can be shiny. Yay. Woo. Shiny sizzle. Oh, my God. The Delcaddy and Manaphy I mentioned earlier can also be shiny. And that topic has been well covered to other places on the Internet. And I don't feel like talking about that. So go on. But even with the absurd method to get a shiny Manaphy, I think this Caesar right now is the rarest, purely because even if you had the money on you to brute force it right now, as far as I know, you just couldn't. You can't buy it online anywhere. A lot of research went into this video, so if you liked it, uh, please leave me alone.